salute, salute. What's going on, everybody? Hey, we got some breaking news. We just heard Gravante Tane Davis was involved in a hit and run accident. It's still a lot of details that the police, Baltimore PD, are not letting out to the public yet. Um, it has not been confirmed that he was the driver of the vehicle. Um, the news footage shows two people getting out of the vehicle, somebody getting out of the passenger side, somebody also getting out of the driver's side, but they couldn't determine if he was the one driving. Um, and supposedly they left the scene. Um, like I said, it's still some things that are not clear. Um, they are not letting all the details out yet. Um, apparently, um, in celebration of his big victory over Leo Santa Cruz, everybody remembers that vicious, vicious knockout. But he basically had a party in B-more at a club. I believe the club was Medusa. And um, shortly after him leaving the club, he was involved in that accident. And now the footage, the footage, excuse me, shows him um, crashing. You know, I mean, he was driving his black. Uh, Matt Black Lamborghini truck. Um, a lot of people, um, a lot of people know it um, or have seen it. And um, that's the vehicle that he was in once he left the club. That is the vehicle that was involved in the accident. That is the vehicle in question. Now, as I said, they haven't released all the details yet. Um, I'm pretty sure that they have been in contact with Tank and his lawyers. Because you know Floyd is not having that. Their lawyers got this thing real low on the hush hush um it hasn't been determined fully um how many people or if people were truly injured in this accident but from what reports and footage have shown he and his vehicle was definitely involved in that hit and run accident shortly after leaving the club in baltimore as i said baltimore pd still hasn't released a lot of the details yet the uh, investigation is ongoing, but he just got finished knocking Leo out. I feel you as far as you want to go out, party, have a little fun, but it's certain things you just don't do. That is the main reason why Floyd tried to get Tank out of Baltimore and in Vegas to train. You know what I mean? So he can stay focused, stay away from the nonsense. You know what I'm saying? Because now you just gave him I told you so moment. You know what I mean? So now if Tank makes it out of this situation, you know what I mean? Now he's definitely going to have to keep his head down. Because you just came off of a big victory. And then you do something like this. This is going to tarnish your image. You know what I mean? Especially you just, you know, you just had a, I mean, a beautiful knockout. Possibly the knockout of the year. And then you come and do something like this to shadow that victory and also that accomplishment. You can't take away from that accomplishment or that victory or that knockout. But this is definitely not a good look. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully Tank is cool. Whoever was in the vehicle um, with him um, is also cool. It's not really, as I said, determined if it was multiple people other than the passenger and the driver. But hopefully everybody is cool. Everybody is healthy. And more importantly, hopefully no charges are brought on his behalf because um, they said that they were exiting the vehicle or said that they were leaving the scene. And if you leave the scene of an accident like that, that's really not a good look that can come back on you. So as I said, I'm pretty sure that Tank and uh, Floyd's uh, legal team are keeping this pretty hush hush. They're not gonna let too many details get out, especially this early in the situation because people are going to you know what i mean throw things all over the place that's why i'm saying basically as i heard from the um i believe it was uh channel three news and be more who just broke the story you know what i'm saying so i'm bringing it to the people but like i said man definitely not a good look hopefully tank is cool because like i said you were just involved in an accident and also i mean you just seen tank earlier man like he was in the gym training you know what I mean? Um, and he just came off of a huge victory. And that showed, in my opinion, like I said, that showed the tank is focused because he's now focused on the next task in front of him. And then something like this happens that could possibly knock everything out of whack. 
you know what I mean? But I'm pretty sure that everything, hopefully, low well and everything will be um, fine. Um, hopefully nobody is hurt. And as far as the vehicle, he got changed. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, he just came off with a huge um, victory. But I do understand, like I said, you want to go out, let your hair down, so to speak, have a good time with you and your people. But you got to be smart. You know what I'm saying? Because the higher that you elevate in this game, the more scrutiny that you're going to come under, you know what I mean? Especially now, because now you're looking at another huge fight and you don't want to mess up your image. You know what I'm saying? You definitely don't want to mess up your image. You need everything to be firing on all cylinders so you can remain that pay-per-view draw so you can um, remain that top tier image. You know what I'm saying? You're already a top tier talent, but you have to have that top tier image. And hit and run accidents, that ain't helping it. You know what I'm saying? So just wanted to break this to the people, man. Catch you guys on the next one. We got a lot of content coming um, in the next couple of days. Just drop two videos. Go back and check those out. One dropped on the Sixers. Also, I dropped a Terrence Crawford and Kel Brook slight walkthrough. We're going to do another one in the days to come as we get closer and closer to fight week. We have about two videos dropping tomorrow, so stay tuned. Like, comment, and subscribe. Also, turn on those notifications so when those videos drop, you are in line. And don't forget, watch these videos from bumper to bumper. No pun intended. You dig what I'm saying? So catch you guys on the next one, man. It's your boy, a.k.a. The Ghetto Stephen A. Stay blessed, stay humble, protect your body at all costs and at all times. Guard up, mask up, one.